That's trade to hold for the next week. Jeez. Oh my <laughs> God. Um, yeah. Way to put me on the spot here. Uh, wow. I'm going to go with for the next week. To be honest, I am long Bitcoin right now. So, I mean, you know, again, it's not necessarily something that I'm going to hold on to for a long period of time, but let me show you this. It's pretty cool stuff. So, this was your big move down from 69 to 33, and this was your sideways bear flag. This was your breakdown. What's really kind of cool about this is that, you know, it seems very arbitrary that price panicked and fell down to this level. But what's even more interesting is if we go back and draw another parallel trend line here from this high over here last March or April all the way through the recent highs. Look at if we extend that down, what that gives us, right? So it basically gives us an extension move and gives us this pivot low right here. And that's why I bought Bitcoin right now. It's just, it's a pure technical play. Um, not to say it can't fail. We know anything can fail at any time on the upside or the downside. But right now, this is the line in the sand that you're following. If this gets taken out and you start trading below this, then watch out. But as long as this holds, then you should expect a better move up than what we've seen. I think, honestly, we could go up as high as 35,000, maybe 30, even 38,000 off of this level wow. before we start heading back down. So, so that's the positive case at this stage. That it, you know, this is a risk on risk off trade, right? Bitcoin is, it's, I always say it's a 13 year old, right? It started in 2009, it's 2022. You know, how many 13 year olds do we know that are measured and calm and collected versus, you know, emotional? So you have that emotional vibe in cryptocurrency as it's a newer asset comparatively. And that's versus gold, which has been around for thousands of years. And what does gold do? It goes up or down 1% a day, right? because it's been around forever. It's like the grandma and the grandpa versus the child. So so yes, if if the markets continue to fear and panic, if we worry about recession, if we worry about the Fed continuing to tighten, then Bitcoin likely is headed lower. But you asked for the positive vibes first, buddy. Ooh. Gold, right now, gold. Gold! Sorry. Yeah. Okay, tell me why. That Just is scary. Because, because right now, gold gold is is hanging in there. It's still the best performing asset of 2022 in regards to Bitcoin and, and uh, the stock market. And I think, honestly, we just had this beautiful retrace on gold back to major support. So you have you had the breakout on gold, then a classic retrace. And what we should do is get the next leg up in the bull market of gold here over the next six to 12 months. Now, if you ask me if I had to hold Bitcoin for 24 to 36 months, I'm choosing Bitcoin. So so it's just it's it's all about time frame, right? But Bitcoin is going to way outperform gold over the long term. It's just, you know, we're in this period where if I'm in the camp that the Nasdaq still got another 20% downside, what does that mean for Bitcoin? You know, at least probably another, you know, 30, 40% down on Bitcoin, maybe down 20,000 or sub 20,000. What we can do is we can take a look at the Nasdaq 100 chart here. These are some level, levels on the recent bounce. We can get rid of them. But, but basically, and this is actually the S&P chart. Let me just bring up the Spiders chart, which is the S&P ETF. So one of the things I've been following is that basically this is your long term trend of the S&P, right? This is going mm -hmm. back to 2009. And by the way, this was when the Fed was doing quantitative easing. This was the Fed when they decided to do quantitative easing on steroids, right? So the idea is that they're removing that liquidity. They're taking it out. They're raising rates. It makes sense that you've got to come back in this range at least. So and that's at the very bare minimum if we don't go into recession. So that's telling you S&P lower, NASDAQ lower you probably see the see Bitcoin and cryptos go a little bit lower things, right? It's like a storm that we all have to weather. You know, no one likes being in it, but it's part of the natural cycle of things. You know, we have seasons, we have we have months of the year, we have all these things. Well, Bitcoin and, and all, all assets have to go through cycles and it's not fun. It stinks, frankly, but it's just part of the natural progression of things. Let's trade to hold for the next week. Jeez. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. Way to put me on the spot here. Uh, wow. I'm going to go with for the next week, Bitcoin. Okay. What well, best trade to hold for the next 12 months? Gold. Best trade to hold for the next 24 months? Bitcoin. Wow. Okay. So it, everything about your outlook is what, what time frame you're holding. If you're holding for the next 20 years, honestly, what we're seeing now at these levels on Bitcoin probably doesn't mean anything. If you're holding, if you're a swing trader like me, then you have to pay attention to these short term moves because you're in and you're out. And so, again, you know, there's a lot of a big, big hope for Bitcoin. And I think it will come through. It just needs to go through this cycle. So let's do uh, let's do something fun. How about a thousand dollars for charity? If, if you're if I'm right, and outperforms, 
you give a thousand dollars to charity. If not, I give a thousand to charity. So the person who loses puts a thousand dollars to charity. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. So the thousand dollars to charity. This time next year. Around. This time next year. The start is today. The price of gold is. Uh, I think it's. I think it's twenty three, twenty four hundred. Okay. And no. Okay. Now I'm saying the price of gold right now. Starting price of gold. Eighteen hundred and fifteen dollars. All right. Bitcoin starting price. Twenty nine one hundred. Whatever it's at right now. We're doing it for charity. Charity's always. As long as charity's benefiting, this is what it's all about.